Good kitten internet, and welcome back to Vandal Hearts. Uh, we are exactly where I last left off the previous video, so let's go ahead and continue, and I will shut up for a bit. The Torog Mountain Range, located on the far northern border of Ishtaria. From ancient times, it has been called the home of the gods, and as of yet, no man has been able to dwell for long upon its cruel facade. Placing their last hopes for the overthrow of the Empire upon the ancient script engraved upon the Royal Ring, Ash and his companions travel north by sea to this harsh land. That doesn't look like sea, by the way. After finally obtaining the Flame of Judgment, powerful forces were at work within the Empire. Alright. So, basically, we traveled by sea, even though, according to that tiny little map, we basically hopped over a pond and we've been mostly on the land. But now we start Chapter 5, The Legacy. Now that we've given Hellspites basically everything that he wants, how are we going to do this? Well, let's find out. I actually don't remember how this chapter starts off the top of my head. The Flames of Judgment in their true form. Are they not dazzling? Each man is always at war with the side of his nature that seeks death. Those who pretend to seek glory are merely trying to run from this. Have you never thought about this? Dots. The flames of judgment. They have the power to lay waste to everything. Such power wasn't meant for man, even one so great as I. Yet, to save the people from pain and suffering, you must have the power. I learned much from the chaos that followed the revolution. Ah. That's why you sought your power. Oh. What? Funk. There's no value in that sort of existence for humanity. Isn't it more natural for a society in decline to merely die out? You, you're a traitor? Yes, yes I am. That's right! Hellspites is not the villain of this game. He's now dead. How's that for a welcome to the climax of the game for you? Like I said, we gave Hell everything that he wanted. He lived all of five seconds before Dolph went, Ooh, shiny mine! My lord. Did I hear something? What? What happened? Stay calm. The Emperor has been felled by an assassin. I managed to slay the assassin, so don't worry about that. There are, may still be kind. Quickly, call a healer. The Emperor might still be able to pull through. You literally stabbed him through the... You sliced him shoulder through neck. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, right away, sir. Uh, run! <laughs> yeah, a healer. <laughs> He only needs a coffin. So yeah, that's why all of Dolph's behavior seemed a little out of place. It's not that Dolph was just, you know, conspiring to become a higher person on the totem pole. No, Dolph's entire plan was to murder Hellspites. All square. Oh, this ship life is difficult work. That's because you're a tired old grouch. Takes one to know one. Stop it, you two. 
what's that? Monsters? We've seen lots of those. We just fought those exact monsters. Come on. Monsters? Look alive, people. Why this is a shock, I have no idea. But, you know. So, standard battle. Victory is death of enemies. Defeat is death of ash. We've got a box. But the fun thing is, in order to be able to get this treasure chest, we have to push the box the entire way down here. Because that box is the only way to get at that treasure chest. And what does that treasure chest have, perhaps? That treasure chest has... Plate mail. That treasure chest has played now. That treasure chest is something else. And it doesn't look like there are any hidden objects in this battlefield. Nope. So yeah, unfortunately, Kira is very low level this battle. Oh no, she's not. She leveled up. But she's unpromoted. That's what it is. Okay, I could have swore she wasn't starting out at level 21. I thought she stayed at the level she was. I th I'm almost certain that was the case. She does have her crappy equipment still. But Diego's equipment is significantly better. And she has no items. But, I mean, that's still at least useful-ish. 84 attack versus 91. She can at least do damage. So, what I need to do for this battle is first save. Um, second, I want that treasure chest. Why? Because it's there. And because this is a relatively easy battle otherwise. So, we need to worry. The main problem with this battle are the egg men. I can't speak today. I'm having problems with my interviews as well with speaking. They're lower level than the previous battle. Because the egg worms were level 19 last battle, and the gold golems were level 20 last battle. So everything's one level lower than the previous battle. So this is a relatively easy battle outside of wanting to push this box. Quite a bit now. We also have a rock here. I don't know why. Apparently, we decided to bring a boulder with us on this trip. Door, why not? So, my intent is that I'm going to shove as many people as I can through this passage. for me to get hit by the new angel. spot is a trap, these two, because I'm significantly lower height-wise and also need to deal with the egg worm that can just might me. This spot is probably also a trap, so I'm actually going to end up flying here. Darius is the one person I need to level up this battle. He's a little on the low side compared to everybody else. Well, it needs a strong word. It's not that hard. So yeah, I am going to try to cram everybody on one side of this battle. Oh, 
Alright. Yeah, nobody can move. Okay, yes, they actually can reach. Come for me. Ow! That actually hurt quite a bit. so I will. Yes, I know I can be counterattacked. That's why I'm doing it before getting killed, not after. The eggworm wasn't going to kill me, and I knew it. Good, perfect guard. But that's a lot of MP. Please lock down that ghost. I don't want to deal with it. That'd be nice. Of I think the only thing that can hit me is that death angle. Not a cutie, though. Gotta watch out for that. <laughs> yeah, I can punt if I really want to. I don't like them. Okay. Um, Liars, you are safe as long as you are... Where can you reach? So you are safe as long as you're on this line. Or technically, like, this line and this line. Are you actually safe from that? You might not be. Okay. You're actually safe here. No, you're not. You can move back. Yeah, never mind. Not even gonna. There's a line that I can go to. I am going to just fly to it. Also, fun by the big guys. Work really. Uh, one moment. I do need to respond to this. All right. Sorry. Lot of people trying to communicate with me. It gets a little overwhelming from time to time. Okay. Here I you can move there. Oh yeah, I have curiosity. 138, 138. <laughs> Mystic shield yourself. Why not? Let's go call back the classics. And 
I'm going to predict that Grog's going to be the one that's going to get hit this turn. Because I know Grog's in range, and so is Kira, and so is Diego. I'm going to predict it's Grog this time. Could be any of those three, though. You're going to be hitting Clint. Okay, that makes sense. Yep, harmful wave again. Ah, you went after Kira. Interesting. Okay. I mean, it does do a lot of damage. It kind of makes sense. much in the way of defense, do they? Can I actually hit from down here? No. There we go, and I think that's enough to get Darius up to 21 now. Yep. Hover jumping level up thing. Yeah. Why are they hovering at different... They're bouncing alternative, al alternately. Alternating from each other. Like they're on a seesaw, and the seesaw is right there. Can you? Yes, you can. Thank you. You're gonna be hit by two things. It might be better for me to use Ash in the corner here. That's actually a good spot for me. like the Green Ranger from Power Rangers right now. Original Power Rangers, that is. You are going to go there because you are my tank that's going to stop everyone. Kira. You can't reach. Because you're unpromoted, right? So, Diego, move back. Fire. Um, Kira's promoted, but only promoted once and not twice. It's after this battle I'll be able to promote her a second time. See, it's 19 damage difference between the two of them. Shame. Magic. Ultra heal. So healing pulse is enough, isn't it? Healing plus, the plus means better still. Ooh. Actually, it wasn't full heal. I mean, it's fine because she's not taking, like, her maximum hit points of damage or anything. Actually, Roman fire from here. Good eye, though. Ah. Why not? Good 
not doing a whole bunch of this battle. Oh, I just killed him. Whoops. Oh, well. So hard can move over to here. And Grog. Yeah, let's go ahead and move over to here. That's it. Eggworm is finally moving. Yeah, I've activated all of them at this point. Dolan's gonna be hit with an eggworm. That's fine. Why is standing there? Oh, you can actually hit, hit Dolan. Okay, that might not be great. I mean, Ash isn't gonna take all that much damage, but Dolan is. Ow! I will kill them. healing over there. Actually. Better plan. Move the ninja there. The ninja doesn't have ranged attacks. I mean, Thunder Flash is field two, but that's not going to hit much of anything. So my ninja is going to be our healer today, and our healer is going to be an offensive attacker. everyone that I cared about. Okay. I guess you're gonna be Roman firing. Because you can't hit anything else. I could try paralyzing the egg worm. Not the worst idea. Let's see where else I'm going. Okay, I need to deal with this Doom Angle. Doom Angle has 10 more MP. They've cast three spells, so each of those are 5 MP, so they can cast two more spells. Ugh. I know, I can't show how beautiful you are today. I'm sorry, Kitty. Oh, I probably could. You can get over here. Who can you reach with Holy Lightning? You can reach both of them. Okay. Let's go ahead and save. It's been a while. Is that I can't attack from that low down area. Yes, soon, you're blood on the table. Why don't you come over here and say hi to me? Okay? He just wants to be right off of camera. Um. Well, I need to make sure Dolan's not in range. That's what it boils down to. And one more spot away would be not in range. I'd want two more spots away just in case. 
that's apparently all you're gonna get from missing. Just because those death dealers are problems. I'm gonna move over to here. That's actually not a terrible plan. I can do much damage to the thing, but actually, I can do much damage to either of them. Cool. Neil and I need to pay ship and get a new one from here. Same two. I think the best I can do is maybe take out the eggworm. That's not gonna be enough, but it's something. Because there's no way I'm taking out the Doom Angle with that nuke. I need archers for that, and the archers are in position. Probably should have gotten them in position rather than going after the full armor, but oh well. Ah, oh, crap, I still didn't even take out the Eggman. Flyer can come in and take out one of my mages, can't I? Oh, this is why I saved. That is two away. Well, let's find out. Yeah, this is going to be the turn that I'm going to get hit with a whole bunch of egg worms. And they're apparently all going after Grog? I'm concerned about that, actually. Drug should be able to take one more hit from a flyer, I think. Ah, uh, crap. This might be a problem. Okay. Drug can't take another hit right now. Oh, you can't reach Drug. Okay, we're fine. Poisoned, I can deal with that later, that's not a problem. None of them are doing anything. Oh, no, you're gonna do this really. Cool. Bye. Why do the enemies not realize the rock, paper, scissors-ness of this game? I don't understand. Okay. Well, that escalated quickly. Spread force would only hit two units. Phase shift hits lots. It's phase shift time. Been a while anyway. That's better. Yeah, that's a well-deserved level up so far. Even though you are by far the highest level metal for our party. Well, not far, just there, I suppose. Flint killed the ghost. It's finally in position, I think. No, it needed to go down one. Didn't it? No, no, it's in the right spot. Okay. Manji. 
time. Okay, now that this has been blown wide open, Eamon, get this thing, please. All of that, and we get Atlas Mail. Oh, it's all plate. You need to die. Thank you. By far the most annoying one of those. Rog, you're going to move up to here. I'm going to end up ultra healing, so. Nobody else was injured, so I'm not talking about that. Thank you. Sarah will handle curing the status effect. Once more, she can't reach with anybody, so. Uh, cure is enough, actually. There's no need to do cure wide. stand there to be a guard. And finally, last but certainly not least, Diego, go pick a fight. Oh wait, crap, Dolan was not safe there. Oh well, too late now. At least I took out one of the Eggmen. Yeah, I can't hit the others. Oh. oh well, too late now. You said it, Kitty. Is it? Oh, he got distracted by Shiny. We're gonna fly over to there, and I'm gonna say you're coming from that direction. Yep. Oh, you're going after Kira. Okay. Oh, because she can't counterattack. You're gonna fire on Kira, and that's the problem. I forgot about the other one of those. You dead? No, you're alive. We're good. Only a few enemies left. Ash is gonna get punched in the face pretty hard. Not that hard, actually. Hmm. I know he has a lot of defense, but. I would have expected more damage. What's his defense at? 121. Grog's at one. Okay, yeah, maybe that does actually make sense. Okay. So first off, these things gotta die. Can you actually do 80 damage? Not like that. Because I was planning on killing the egg worm with Diego, now I need to do Doom Angel. You do way more damage. You're way more lethal. Ooh, I have Avalanche! Time to see a new spell! This is, if I remember correctly, from base Vandal Hearts, the best single target range attack spell in the game. It does a lot of damage. Yeah, I know, I didn't get that much XP. That's fine. Okay. That means that I don't have to heal up Kira with Sarah. Because I've got another target, and it's right here, and yes, I know what's in here. It's a mimic. 
but it's been a while. Hmm? It's a level 21 mimic at that. And it's dead. I just wanted the XP. Can you blame me? And get rid of the Skelly Bro. Dead. I'm not. Thunder Flash. This turn, I think, if Hux I think Huxley can take out the Cold Golem. And I think that's worth doing. Because prolonging it for XP is not what I particularly want to do. Holy Latin, I think that's enough to take out the Cold Golem? I'm not sure. Definitely enough to take him out on a counter attack, that's for sure. Oh! Not even close to enough. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, I'm gonna shore up Huxley's flank at least. But that might be enough. Bonk! Nope. I have seven hit points left on that thing. But, uh, there's nothing in that area that they can attack that I'm concerned about. Shore up Sarah's flank. Just do the best that you can. Neil and I, the battle's basically over for you, but you can be happy. Alright, I guess we're getting out the turn anyway, but uh, it's probably going to die to a counterattack wherever it. No, it's definitely dying to a counterattack. Of course, it's going to die. Meow. 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 You win! We win, kitty cat! We win! Good job, kitty cat. This is not much of a shoulder cat, unlike Zone. And that's it for the battle. So, as per usual, we're going to save right here. And that was the first scene, scene zero of chapter five. I hope you've enjoyed this in next. And I'm going to see you in like five seconds, but you'll see me in the next two days. Bye!